All right, my darling. OK, thank you. Right, fingers crossed, Peter. You've got 30 seconds. Your time starts now. Hi, Elian. Hi. The record company executive, Tommy Mottola, is the ex-husband of which singing star? Mariah Carey. You're a star. That is a big, big, big drink for you tonight, OK? I still hope it's right. You did so well. That's the Just way give I'm me the four answers in case. If, if it's wrong, I will hunt you down. Give me the four answers. <laughs> Thank you so much, Liam. Give me the four answers just in case. Oh, Shania Twain, Celine Dion, Alanis Morissette. No, I'm definitely right. OK, good old. <sighs> Thank goodness, I <laughs> Thank you. She, she hated the thought of being she, she Whenever I asked her originally, she said no. What did she change about then? Uh, I promised her 10%, so... Nah! <laughs> <laughs> well, Chris, final answer, Mariah Carey. You'll have to hunt her down and buy her a very big drink. You've just won £32,000. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Ooh. Ooh. What a start. Right. Take it. It's yours. No, you keep it. It's OK. That's very okay. kind. I'll get it off you later on. OK. If I need to. You'll hunt me down. <laughs> How do you feel? This is the happiest moment of my li life, with the possible exception of the moment whenever I married my wife, Claire. With the possible exception. <laughs> it's a yeah. close run thing. Can you feel those arrows so they can be in the back <laughs> of your head at the moment? Because, um, no, I can tell you up there, it looks, um, she looks very, very, very pleased with her husband. Uh, you might as well play the next question. You can't lose on this. You've got that 32,000 guaranteed. It's worth £64,000. Have a look at it. This is question number 11 of a possible 15. Ribes nigrum is the Latin name for the shrub that bears which fruit? Red currant, raspberry, black currant, blackberry. 50 50, please. Computer take away two random wrong answers, lead Peter the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Ribes nigrum is the Latin name for the shrub that bears which fruit? Black currant or blackberry? One of those is worth £64,000 to you, Peter. I can say this. I keep thinking of Rabina. So. Okay. Blackberry, final answer. Claire actually thought black currant. You went for blackberry. Peter. Your wife was right, Peter. The right answer is black. And you were there. You were there and you changed your mind. I'll I tell don't you what, care. There was a certain amount, of, certain amount of frowning going on behind your head at one point. <laughs> but, listen, not a bad night's work, mate. You uh, came no, in. You're £32,000 better off. It's a serious result. And you will be the hero of Ballymenia for about yes. the next 50, 50 years, I think. <laughs> right, give him a big hand. Take it away, Pete. Congratulations from all of us. Thank you so much, Chris. £32,000 on his way back to Northern Ireland. Peter walks off stage with his cheque. The end. Stuck in an infinite time loop of three weeks. Oh, for God's sake, George. Sorry. Rebel believes that someone has invented a true time machine. I got a lead. <laughs> Doing that taser. We're losing time. 
we either find a way out of this soon, or our universe will fall apart. Fighting for the European super lightweight title, Adam Azim, remember the name. Has lost something. The portable door. This is your time to shine. Yes, another edition of Bullseye. How are you wintering? Are you getting through it all right? We hope you are. We'll bring a little sunshine to your life tonight with another game of Bullseye. Let's meet the first couple who are going to, we hope, win some prizes and take home a few quid as well. Let's welcome, from Granada land, Roger and Gareth Evans. Nice warm round of applause. Hello, Gareth. Well, Granada land, oh, that's my area. You've got lovely. Nice to have you with us. Roger, and you're both from uh, from the Manchester area. What, what, Roger, what do you do for a living? Uh, bank clerk. Isn't bank clerk? Yeah. Are you married? Yes. Any, any family? No. No? Well, you better raise your interest a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us what's this about when you got married. Things tended to go a bit wrong, didn't they? Yeah, we got married in 1981, September. Yeah. We went on honeymoon to Mallorca. Yeah. I came back the Friday. Well, Saturday morning it was, yeah. uh, and I went straight into hospital <laughs> what? for two weeks with a stomach bug from uh, Spain. From New York, yeah, uh, yeah. And did anything happen after that? I mean, oh well. <laughs> Since then, um, I had glandular fever. Yeah. Um, when I went for my audition with Bullseye, yeah. I had four stitches in my hand. Yeah. While I still had the four stitches in my hand, they brought me to playing five a side <laughs> <laughs> and training for the football season. That we're in at the moment. Yeah. Uh, I've got six stitches in my legs, so, so it's <laughs> not doing too well. Well, you're a bundle of fun. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, and so we've had the stomach, we've had the leg, the toe, and the knee, and it's, this is like an organ recital, isn't it? It's ridiculous. Because <laughs> leg, tit, organ, recital. <laughs> not bother with them, Rog. We'll not bother yeah. with them. Nice to have you with us, Gareth. Roger Evans and Gareth, it, it, there's a Welsh influence there, That's isn't right, there? parents are from Wales. Oh, we, were, we were born in Manchester. Yeah, but you, you still regard born yourselves in. as Welsh, are you now? Yes. Well, Oh, it's the Welsh, you've got the, the dragon, that's right. Well, that's good. What about, uh, what about, any hobbies, any hobbies? Uh, football, uh, mainly, and mainly. reading. And you tend to keep your legs all in one piece, not I like this, is it? You try to, try to. Nice to have you with us. Two grand lads. Gareth, off you go to your seat there, and off you go, Roger, there. Great. Let's meet, yes, why not, why not? Let's meet uh, the next couple. Uh, they're playing at home tonight because they're from Central Television. Judy Braddock and Jan Lomas. Make them nice and welcome. <laughs> So it's, it's Judy Braddock and, and, uh, and Jan Lomas, that's right. Now, where are you from? Buxton. Buxton. And uh, are you related? Yes, we're twins. Yes, we're twins. <laughs> and you always, you always do everything together? Yes, we've been poorly together. We went to school together. Is you really? Mm. And what about your education? What, what do you do? Uh, yes, I got four O levels. Really? I got four, four O levels. levels. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and, and what about after you left school? Oh, well, I went to work for my father in the family business. Yes, and, and you. I went, went and worked for work my for father in the family <laughs> business. There's more repeats on this show than Benny Hill. Isn't there? <laughs> Nice to have you with us anyway. <clears throat> Something else I've got to say to you now. Now, after that, you, you, went, you went your separate yes, ways, didn't you? Yes, uh, I went as an au pair girl in Denmark, in Denmark for a year. And, yes, and I you, went for an au pair, uh, au pair girl in, in Denmark, Denmark for a year. <laughs> now, have you done anything at all different? Yes. When I was 16, I played rounders after school and I broke my left leg. 
Really? Yes. Well, th that's great. And I waited a month and then I fell off the pavement and I broke my left leg. <laughs> uh, you married? Yes, I'm well, married. And yes, you, and I'm you'll, married. You'll be married, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, um, do you realise you're getting visual entertainment in stereo here? Do you realise that? And, and family? Yes, I've got a, a son and a daughter. Yes. And and I've got a son and a daughter. Yes. Uh, but I've got three stepsons. Really? Yes. Pass. <laughs> now, I have to say to you, it, they are incredibly alike, aren't they? I, I honestly couldn't tell the difference. Funny. It's nice to have you with us, Jan. You go, you're going you're gonna to go no, with that. No, I'm, I'm playing to... the darts. Oh, you're playing the darts? Yeah, and I'm answering the questions. Really? Yes. <laughs> right, well, you, which way do you want to go, then? Oh, Go on, then, please yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Let's meet uh, the next couple from Anglia Television, Steve and David Atkin. Give them a nice warm welcome. Hi, Steve. You're incredibly alike, boys. You're, and you're big lads, aren't you? By Jove, if you say it's Friday, it's Friday. You're, you're big lads, aren't you? Let's see now. And you're from... Where are you from? Dis in Dis. From Dis yeah. in Norfolk. Mm -hmm. okay. And what, what about you, Steve? What do you do for a living? Um, shopkeeper. Shopkeeper? Yes, uh, general store. Yeah, Who's, who has the store? Who's is the store? Uh, it's both of ours. Oh, it is it? Running, mm -hmm. yeah. So you'll be looking for dissatisfied <laughs> customers? <laughs> <laughs> no, I meant dis... dis... Oh, I know what you <laughs> meant, yeah. <laughs> now, you've got this shop. Tell us about the shop. Is it, is it, a, is it a traditional grocery shop? Or? Yeah, a uh, traditional corner shop, although it's not on a corner, it's in, in an estate. Yeah. Uh, a lot of chimneys around, you know. Is it a bit like Ronnie Barker? Oh, well, they call me Artwright and they call him Granville. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're, we're, op we're open all open hours. Open all hours. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> all the way from, from East Anglia, isn't it? Yeah. Very civilised part of the world. Very, everything's oh, a bit everything. slower there, isn't it? Mm. Nice and easy. Beautiful. 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 Hey, yeah. <laughs> we're not selling turkeys here. We don't want any of that. <laughs> Great. Give them a nice welcome, these two lads from Dick. Yeah. Off you go, David. Thank you, Steve. <laughs> Great. Right, we've met, uh, you can see we've got some smashing contestants on the show tonight. Come and have a look at this board and we'll get on with the game. You know it by now, really, it's the board with the difference. We've got the subjects around the board and in each subject, bonus areas to be won by the dart player. But remember, if the dart player hits the bullseye, come on, audience, what does he get? £200! Marvellous. Once a subject's been hit, it drops out of the game. All right, you remember that. We've established the order of play before we came in. You also know that by now, so we'll get on with the game. Questions in the first round are worth £30 each. OK, so, Gareth, it's your choice, but Jan and David, remember your bonus buttons. So off we go, Gareth, choose a subject for Roger. Spelling. Spelling we want, Rog. And it's not. It's a question on food. So there's no bonus, but this is worth £30 to you, Gareth. From which country does the traditional dish called paella come? Italy. It's not, and there's a light on. It's David. Spain. Spain is right. Well done, you've got £30. We move on. Jan, choose a subject for Judy. Books, please. Books we'd like, Judy. Books we'd like. Yeah. It's history. So it's a £30 question on history for you. No bonus, but this is for £30, Jan. Which infamous character rode a horse called Black Bess? Dick Turpin. Dick Turpin. Good girl. £30 you've got. And we move on. And we move to David. Choose a subject for Steve, Dave. Uh, sport, please. Sport we want. Come on then, Stephen. Sport we're looking at. Flashing to help you. <coughs> it's not. It's showbiz. So no bonuses yet. And here's your question on showbiz. The best-selling album of all time is the soundtrack music of the film Saturday Night Fever. Who wrote the music? Andrew Lloyd Webber. It wasn't. He's written about everything there is at the moment no. going, isn't it? It's not, and there's no light on. This could surprise you. The Bee Gees. The Bee Gees. Did you know that at home? There we are. At the end of round one, we've got Roger and Gareth with no score, Judith and Jan with £30, and Steve and David with £30. Moving to round two, the questions here are worth £50 each, you know by now. A little bit more difficult, the questions, and, of course, one or two categories gone. Let's look at what we've got left. We've got places, sport, affairs, books, words, Britain and spelling. What do you think, Gareth, for Roger? Uh, Britain, please. Britain we'd like. Britain we'd like, Roger. 
and that's there. It's a hundred pound bonus. Well done. <laughs> Another £50, pounds, Gareth. Which car manufacturing firm was founded by the late Lord Nuffield? And there's a light on. Austin. I can offer it across. David? Morris. Morris is right. You've got yourself £50. Pounds. Well done. We move on. Jan, choose a subject for Judy. Uh, we'll try books again, please. Books again we'd like. Books again, Judy. not it's gone in Britain and the subject's gone so we can't ask the question we move on David choose a subject for Steve sport please sport we'd like Steve no problem 50 pounds bonus you've got this is for a further 50 pounds David which was the only horse to win the Grand National three times red rum red rum good answer well done indeed <laughs> excellent Gives the scores at the end of round two. Roger and Gareth with £100, Judy and Jan with £30, and Steve and David in front at the moment with £180. Could all change this round because the questions are worth £100 each. They are more difficult and, of course, less subjects for the dark players to aim at. Let's look at what they've got left. They've got places, affairs, books, words and spelling. What do you think, Gareth, for Roger? Try spelling, please. Spelling with like, Roger. Spelling with like. It's food, and sadly, the subject's gone. We can't ask it. Jan, for Judy. Books, please. Books we'd like. <laughs> this is for the third time of asking. Oh, she's got history, and the subject's gone, so we can't ask the question. David, choose a subject for Stephen. Places, please. Places we want, Steve. Places we want. And it's there, a £30 bonus you've got. For a further £100, David, of which country is Monrovia the capital? Albania. It's not. There's a light on. Bolivia? It's not. Both very intelligent guesses. In fact, it was Liberia. Never mind. That gives us, at the end of round three, in the first section of this game this evening, gives us Roger and Gareth with £100, Judy and Jan with £30, and Steve and David with £210. So, sadly, we've got to say cheerio to Judy and Jan. In you come, girls. <laughs> it's been great having you with us. It really has been nice. Have you enjoyed it? Yes, very enjoyed much it. indeed. It's Sudden much death, isn't it? But somebody's yeah. got to go early, haven't they? Of course they have, yes. But you've enjoyed it. Oh, yes, smashing, thank you. yeah. You'll never forget it. No. no and we'll never true. forget having you. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> 30 pounds you've got. There are your bullseye darts and a lovely silver key ring, which we'd like you to take home as a souvenir of your visit. Thank you. Thank Judy, you. you have those, and you look after those, Jan. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, they really have been a lovely couple, haven't they? Give Thank them you. a nice round of applause. Thank Thank you. You. Thank you. Well done. I'll tell you what, you are a super audience tonight. You really are a bit special. Now we use a normal match play dartboard. You've probably got one at home. Could well have one in the garage. Certainly in most pubs in Great Britain you can see them. Traditional match play dartboard. Here we ask the two remaining competitors to, to compete in three rounds of darts against each other. The winner of each round wins for his partner a question. And you know by now the value of that question is the winning score. So, lads, it's pounds for points. Come on, Rog, up to the hockey. Steve, come and stand with me. And it's over to Tony for part two of the game. And it's round one, and Roger to throw. It's 20. That's a treble 20, 60. And that's another treble 20, that's 140 for Roger. Nice. So Steve with a lot to do. Five. 20. And that's another 20, 45, but Roger takes the first round. Dear me, that's a very good score. 140 pounds this question's worth to you, Gareth. 140 pounds. Who had children called Shem, Ham, and Japhet. Noah. What a good answer. Noah is right. <laughs> Gives us £240, plays 210. Back to Tony for round two. And Roger to throw again on round two. That's one. That's a five. And a 20, that's 26. So, Steve, a little bit less to do. 26 to beat. Nine. Fourteen. That's 
It's 37 for Steve. So Steve with a second round. Fine. So David, for 37 pounds, how many chambers does the human heart have? Four. Four is right. Right and left oracle and ventricle. Well done. Which gives us a score now then. Fascinating this at the end of the second part of this game. £240 plays 247. All down to the last round and back to Tony. This is the final round and Roger's a throw. And that's 18. That's double five, ten. And that's double top. So that's 68 scored for Roger. <laughs> Steve, 68 to beat. Treble 19, that's 57. And that's a 14. And that's 11, that's 82. So Steve takes the final round. Oh, dear. I do have to remind you, uh, David, if, if you get this wrong, we can offer it across. So there's a little bit of pressure on here for you. The boll weevil is the most serious pest of its type. Which plant does it attack and destroy? Potatoes. It wasn't the potato and the buzzer had gone anyway, so Gareth, if you can answer this, you go through to the final. Cotton. Cotton is absolutely right. <laughs> Woo! Dear, dear, dear. So that gives us at the end of this section of the game, 308 pounds plays 247. That was a nail biter, wasn't it? So sadly we've got to say cheerio to two fine lads from Dis. Give them a nice encouraging round of applause. Stephen David. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. Oh, that was. That's, I must tell you, in three years of the game, that's the closest that middle section's been, and you were you're throwing mm -hmm. so well, weren't you? Never mind. It, really, it's, it's been super to have you all the way from right. this. You've got your two bullseye tankards, which are in themselves worth quite a lot of money. You've £247 there, your bullseye darts and the solid silver key ring. It's been a privilege to have you with us. Yeah. You've been too gentle. Every, every yeah, success. Yeah. Great. I know you've, been, I know you've yeah. enjoyed it. Yeah. And we hope you enjoy the second half. Don't you go away either. Come back, won't you, and see us. See you in a minute. <laughs> Time. Here, look. Hey, the PlayStation 5 disc console, only £389. And the Ring Video Doorbell, only £49.99. What a bargain. All your Black Friday deals for fashion, home and more. Plus ways to pay that work your way. Very. Let's make it sparkle. Get your gift on with Freeman's. All with free delivery and flexible ways to pay. Made you look. Discover Christmas at freemans.com. Help your kids get to grips with their cash with NatWest Rooster Money. They can save for what they want, manage their money, and even help out to earn extra cash. You'll get alerts and can easily top them up. Download the app and sign up for your Rooster card. First month free, then $1.99 a month. Search NatWest Rooster Money in your app store. NatWest, tomorrow begins today. This Christmas, Asda have a poppin' offer. Save 25% when you buy six or more bottles of wine and champagne. With Libara, it's the same reliable network. Flexible monthly plans. And five gig for five pounds. Labara, smarter. Being visible and relevant, it's powerful. His life has affected the lives of people around him. Damn! People always call me Boxer. Boxer, it's the loneliest place in the world. Wake up! Before my accident, I used to fly. You need to be resilient and not to stay on the path. Being famous is a game. Do you think you're too powerful? You might ever know the truth. Force facts, force fiction. Showtime. Here we go. He wanted to be historic. They represent power. Oh, I'm the monster now! It's about being present. He is the champion of the world! 
seem to be reckoned with. Wayfair's sale of the year is back. It's Black Friday. Discover thousands of deals from November 23rd to 27th. Like coffee tables from £129, pendant lights from £60, and upholstered sofas from £599. Don't miss Black Friday from November 23rd at wayfair.co.uk. The universe is made of stories. When anything and everything can happen. We all share in the joy. Never enough, never enough. This is the best bit of Christmas. Never enough for me, for me, for me. Available Monday in Sky Store Premier. Fighting for the European Super Lightweight title. Adam Azim. Remember the name. Welcome to part two tonight of Bullseye. We've got a great crowd in here. Aren't you great? Yes. They are, they're marvellous. Will you welcome, please, our celebrity darts player? He's been with us, this is his third time. Former News of the World champion, England international, and a smashing fellow. Billy Leonard. Come on. How are you? What is it now? Third time, isn't it? Third time. Do you remember the first time you did it when you actually got the 301? Yeah. Not easy, is it? It's hard work. <laughs> it's hard work. That's a lovely Manchester accent, isn't it? Yeah. What are you doing with yourself? Come on now, Billy, tell us. Uh, I've been a bit quiet this last one. I've been having a bit of a rest. Uh, has, has it been sort of self, self-imposed self rest? That's it, yeah, yeah. yeah. You may well just be fresh enough to do it tonight. We'd love you to do it again for us, because it's only gone, uh, at the moment, I think, once. Leighton Reese did it for us. Oh, yeah. And it was marvellous to have him on. He was great. He was a lovely man, isn't he? Yeah, that's all right. Did you teach him? <laughs> did he really? Because <laughs> I was going to say... <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> they're, all, they're all having a go tonight, aren't they? We had enough trouble with them twins. Without you starting. Anyway, 301, you know, we'd like you to do it. A great audience, they're going to give you a big cheer when you throw, because we know it's for charity. Yeah. 301 and we'll double it. But whatever it is, pounds for points. Come on, encourage Billy Leonard. Come on. <laughs> Billy Leonard, then. The gentleman of darts. We're in for charity. That's 20. Another 20. And a treble 20. 100. <laughs> Good start from Billy. It's a 20. 20. And another treble 20, another 100. This is the consistency. 200 free dance to go. 20. 20. And that's another 20, that's 260 for Billy. Hey, hey, that's excellent. That is excellent. That could so nearly have been a fortune, couldn't it? That was couldn't marvellous. You've yeah. still done very, very well. Come on, boys. Meet this young gentleman from Hayward. Nice to meet you. Please These meet two you. lads are through to the final four, as you can see. Yeah, it's the well good looking lads. We used to look like that, Billy, didn't we? Long time. <laughs> a long while ago. <laughs> Tell us about the charity, Gareth. Well, it's uh, a fund run by the bank we were both work for, where monies are distributed to various charities, large and small. Mm, very and it's just by the bank, the That's bank you both work um, What's Which is the bank? It's the best. best. The best. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> is it the one with the, the tallest building in London? That's right. right. Is that the one? We're not allowed to say the name of it. It's Nat West. Anyway. <laughs> I'm sure you're grateful to this fellow for getting you that money. He's thrown, but and it could so easily have been a fortune, couldn't it? Always nice to see the man because he's a gentleman. Give him a round of applause. Thank you. Now then, lads. Now you can relax now. You've done the two biggest hurdles. You just sit back and enjoy it now, as they say. Don't you? We're going to show you the prize board. You watched it on the series at home. I'm sure you did, didn't you? Yeah, that's right. Did you ever think you'd come face to face with it? No. Yeah, yeah, it. Yeah. The odds are thousands to one against, because we do get a lot of people applying. Come and have a look at Bully's prize board. 
It's a dartboard, you can see again with a difference. It's a test of memory as well as skill is this, boys, so watch carefully. Black segments and red segments. And in every red segment, there are some super prizes. In one, a fully reclining armchair. In two, handy for home or office, an electric portable typewriter. In three, enjoy music while you drive with this stereo car cassette player. In four, an elegant cut glass crystal vase. In five, for the busy housewife, a three-speed food processor and ice cream maker. In six, something for the children, a space age building set. In seven, something different, a fiber optic lamp. In eight, for the ladies, a full and sheepskin court. And Bully's special prize this week, the latest portable video recorder with built-in screen. Ooh, what about that? <laughs> Super prize, that. Nine great prizes. You heard them, didn't you? Do you remember them? Do you remember where they were? And we're giving you nine chances to win them. Nine darts you've got. Six for the dart player and three for the non-dart player. Up you go to that hockey and it's over to Tony and we're all rooting for you. A little poem to remember. Keep out of the black and in the red. You get nothing in this game for two in a bed. So, prize time, Roger to throw. That's red, it's number seven. That's fine, that's the fibre optic lamp. That's a bullseye! That's it! You win the video. Super prize. Still a dart to go. That's black. You're doing very well. Take your dance out. Gareth, uh... Dwayne Rogers dart, so quick change round. Oh, that's out the board. Another one out the board, it's nerves. And that's black. Still Very black. nervous. Still okay, you've got two super prizes. In you go. Roger, then the dart player, with still three darts to go. That's black. That's black again. I'm black again. That's unlucky. Now then, let's have a look. You have won a fibre optic lamp and Bully's prize tonight, this video centre, and of course Bully's game. We'd like you to consider a gamble. Would you like to gamble the prizes you've won tonight, bearing in mind you've won the Bully's prize, against tonight's star prize, which is hiding behind Bully? All we want you to do is score 101 or more with six darts. Three for Rog and three for Gareth. Bear in mind the occasion. Think about it carefully. Your charity money's safe. You've got the time it takes that board to revolve to tell us what you'd like to do. Think about, have a chat about it. What do you think, audience? Come on, help them. What do you think? Should they do? Gamble? Gamble? Would you gamble? Would you really? Ooh, the video. I'm not sure. Ooh, I don't know. Now then, it's decision time. We'll gamble. We'll gamble. You're definitely going to gamble. Okay. <laughs> it's a non dark player to go for us. All right. Rog, come and stand with me. Gareth, up to the hockey. Rog, stand with me. We're all rooting for you. It's over to Tony it's for the... 101 star prize or more game. for tonight's star prize. Gareth to throw. Well, that's out the board. That's 18. And that's treble one. That's three. That's 21 scored for Gareth. So, Roger needing 80 or more for tonight's star prize. And that's a treble 12, 36. That's a one. Still a chance. No, it's not to be. Never mind. Don't worry about your darts. You can take them out if you like. Come and have a look at what you would have won. You were absolutely right to gamble with just having one, too. Come and have a look. I don't think you'll be, you'll be all that delighted when you have a look. But see it anyway, because it's a super prize. Well, there you are, eh? Hey? You've still not been back. You've got your bullseye tanker. 308 pounds. A tanker for you. Gareth and your dart and the silver cleaver. Well, right. I've enjoyed it. It's been worth it coming, hasn't it? Yeah. Weren't they great? Weren't they marvellous? Once again, it's a privilege to be with you on a Sunday evening. Thanks to Tony Green. Thanks to Billy Leonard. Super studio audience. Thanks for watching. Watch us next Sunday, but we'll be back again to talk to you because Sunday wouldn't be the same, would it, without a bit of bullet? Bye. Have a good week. Bye. That's me. I want you out today. Are you firing me? Yes, I am. Ah. It's the most
am a genie. It explains the three wishes thing. Real genies, unlimited wishes. I need to get my wife and kids to love me again. Look what I found. Sorry, she's new in town. Tell me about this Christmas thing. It was meant to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. I knew him. We turned out to be the son of God. No, I thought he was kidding. What is actually happening right now? We're stuck in an infinite time loop of three weeks. Oh, for God's sake, George. Sorry. Rebel believes that someone has invented a true time machine. I got a lead. Oh.